welcome. In this video we will look at the short strangle trade. You may remember from my video on short straddles that a short straddle is a trade where the trader sells two options on the same stock, a call and a put, that both expire at the same time. A short strangle is similar to a short straddle, however for a short straddle the trader sells two at the money options that have the same strike price and with a short strangle the trader sells two out of the money options. Selling both a call option and a put option creates a range around the current price. If the price of the stock remains within that range, the trade is profitable. In other words, the trade is profitable if the price of the stock does not go above a certain price or below a certain price before the options expire. If the price of the underlying stock is between the call strike price and the put strike price when the options expire, neither option has any intrinsic value. This means that both options expire worthless and the trader keeps the full premium that he was paid for the options as profit. The full premium he was paid up front is his maximum possible profit for this trade. If the price of the stock is above the call strike price, the put option still has no intrinsic value. However, the call option does have intrinsic value which means that the profit this trader made selling the options declines by that value. If the price of the stock is above the upper break even point, the loss on the call option exceeds the premium the trader was paid for selling both options, resulting in a loss on the trade. If the price of the stock is above the call strike price, the trader's profit or loss is the premium that he collected up front selling the options, minus the difference between the current price of the stock and the strike price. If the price of the stock is below the put strike price, the call option still has no intrinsic value. However, the put option does have intrinsic value which means that the profit the trader made selling the options declines by that value. If the price of the stock is below the lower break even point, the loss on the put option exceeds the premium that the trader was paid for selling both options, resulting in a loss on the trade. If the price of the stock is below the put strike price, the trader's profit or loss is the premium that he collected up front selling the options, minus the difference between the strike price and the current price of the stock. Let's look at an example using GLD, the gold ETF. At the time of making this video, GLD is currently $129.09 per share. A trader could place a short straddle on GLD by selling the $130 call option and selling the $128 put option that both expire in about 6 weeks. The call option costs $2.07 and the put option costs $2.04. Selling both means that the trader collects a total of $4.11 per share up front for selling the options. This means that for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD must remain within $4.11 of the strike prices. In other words, for the trade to be profitable, the price of GLD has to remain above $123.89 and below $134.11 up until the time the options expire. If the price of GLD is between the $130 call strike price and the $128 put strike price when the options expire, neither option has any intrinsic value. This means that both options expire worthless and the trader keeps the $4.11 that he was paid up front. The $4.11 premium the trader was paid up front for selling the options is the trader's maximum potential profit. If the price of GLD rises above the $130 call strike price, or if it drops below the $128 put strike price, one option still has no intrinsic value. However, the other option does have intrinsic value, meaning that the profit the trader made selling the options declines by that value. If the price of GLD is above the $130 call strike price, the trader's profit or loss is a $4.11 premium that he collected up front selling the options, minus the difference between the current price of GLD and the $130 strike price. The upper break even point is $134.11, so if the price of GLD is above $130, but below $134.11, the trader's profit is between $0 and $4.11. If the price of GLD rises above $134.11, the trade loses money. If the price of GLD falls below the $128 put strike price, the trader's profit or loss is the $4.11 premium that he collected up front selling the options minus the difference between the $128 strike price and the current price of GLD. The lower break even point is $123.89, so if the price of GLD is below $128 but above $123.89, the trader's profit is between $0 and $4.11. If the price of GLD falls below $123.89, the trade loses money. So that's the short strangle trade. In the next video we will continue looking at the short strangle 
by comparing a short strangle to a short straddle. As well as looking at other contract choices, a trader could choose when placing a strangle. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.